More stories coming up all throughout the morning here on KSHB 41, but a big day for the skyline of downtown KC because the KC wheel officially opening this month this morning after months of watching this being built. Yeah, lots of anticipation. We're excited to bring you this coverage. The 150 foot tall observation wheel is located near 24th and Jefferson near I 35 and it's all part of a bigger picture, right? The Penway Point Entertainment District, which will feature indoor and outdoor spaces, restaurants, mini golf, breweries and so much more. So Kansas City will join many other cities across the country now with a giant observation <laughs> wheel on their skyline. This has become kind of a popular thing for cities to do and now we have one of our own. Absolutely, and it looks like so much fun. So we had to send KSHB 41 News reporter Danielle Leon live for us and I think she's on the Ferris wheel yes. this morning. <laughs> I am in currently inside giving you guys a first hand look of this incredible attraction that has finally opened up here in Kansas City. Joining me right now is Karen Wilder with Icon Attractions. Karen, this is an exciting moment for you guys. Already the demand is sky has skyrocketed since you guys announced that you guys would be opening up today to the public at noon. Absolutely. So the excitement has been building for months. People have been <laughs> wanting to get on and ride. And so yesterday we announced that we were able to open today and ready to go and people have been buying tickets they're buying tickets two three weeks out so um, again we wanted to be available for the holiday season and it looks like people are going to come out and join us it'll be fun now check out the view you got the entire kansas city skyline you got i-35 over to your left talk to me about the do's and don'ts what do people need to know in order to get on this ride and kind of enjoy this as well Absolutely. So we want people to buy their tickets online ahead of time, kcwheel.com, so you can get the special early access pricing. Then when you get here, you can use your ticket any time during the day you've chosen. So in our operating hours for each day are on the website as well. So come on down. Now, if your plans change, don't fret. Just <laughs> give us a call or shoot us an email and we can help you arrange uh, tickets for another day. So we want everybody to have a happy, flexible holiday season. So, and there are no timed reservations whatsoever. Your ticket is good for any time during operating hours. Are there certain times Kansas Cityans should avoid in order to not be, you know, out in the cold or anything like that? Sure, so if you like to avoid a big crowd, you may want to avoid Saturdays. That's always <laughs> our busiest day. So during the week, it's always going to be a little bit slower, but we know we're going to be popular for a while. So, um, you know, pick your ticket, come on out. And then like I always say, look, if it doesn't work out for you that way, just give us a call and we'll get it changed up for you. How does this Ferris wheel compare to other Ferris wheels that you guys have in St. Louis and DC? You guys took a lot of thought and consideration, I would say, based on the artwork that I've seen down there. I mean, how does it differ from others? Sure, you want to make the new Ferris wheel and the new observation wheel and the new entertainment district, you want to make that fit the city that it's going in, right? So from the light package chosen for this wheel to the artwork, to the design firm, the local design firm that helps us design so many wonderful things, it's like, let's make this as Kansas City as possible because at the end of the day, we want Kansas City to be proud of their wheel. Oh, well, there you go, Kansas City. Well, that does it for us inside the climate control gondola. I'm gonna send it back to you guys. It's gonna be a wheelie fun time. I had to, Taylor. <laughs> Back to you guys. Oh, <laughs> I was waiting for it. Dang. I'm upset with her. Tim, our Did photographer, not. you heard him groan in the yeah, background there. He's just like, of course. So, yeah, he's shaking of his course. head. To give you an idea, too, that Tim yeah. and, to, of spacing in there. So, the two of them were there right. together. Tim's in there. And our cameras are like this They're size perfect. on his yeah. shoulder. Yeah, yeah. So, it's plenty of room. To Pretty sit in there, spacious. I think six people is how many are wow. able to sit in the gondola is what Danielle Great said this views morning. Great views too. She can give us a traffic report. It looked report. really, really cool. <laughs> as we told you, Penway Point will have two indoor-outdoor spaces dubbed Barrel Hall and Tailgate, T-A-L-E. Boulevard Brewing will oh. have a tasting <laughs> experience there as well as cocktails from the Bull Creek Distillery, sausages from Worstel, and barbecue from Chef Jay. Can we open up today? The <laughs> yeah, new development seriously. is actually a renovation of the century-old Carter Waters building and the Penway Oil Company building. It's really been this like hidden gem in the middle of downtown that we've discovered. We're uncovering it, bringing it back to life, and you know we're repurposing it to entertainment and food and beverage. Um, the collection of buildings was way too unique and cool to tear down, and there's so much historic preservation here. The goal is to scream Kansas City. All funded with private funding, a lot of Kansas City folks involved from the developers and design firms to Kansas City brands. It's going to be fantastic once that's all done. We don't have a final date next year of when everything is going to open up, but we're getting started today with that wheel.